Hey everyone, following the success of the last Itty Bitty Railway Tips and Tricks video, I thought I'd bring you a part 2, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Tip number 1, you can use racetrack junctions to create a yellow or any coloured line on the ends of platforms. Firstly, use platform extensions to expand the platform so that the tarmac part of the junction itself is not visible. Then, just change the junction part to the colour that you want and place it so that the junction edge is in front of the platform edge. And there you have it, a line of the colour of your choice. Tip number two, this is a very simple yet effective one. You can create a taxi by placing a black car and then putting a door inside of it. Then change the door colour to gold, making it look like the car has a taxi sign on top of it. Tip number three, you can create custom posters on image panels. This one does take a bit more time, but all you need to do is open a photo editor of your choice, in my case I used Photoshop, and make a 1000 by 1000 transparent square. Then either create or find a cool poster that fits in with what you're trying to do and place it so that it does not touch the edges. This is important so that it does not fill the entire image panel. Then just save what you have made as a PNG file and upload it to Roblox. Then once the Roblox moderators have approved it, place it on an image panel in game. Here are some examples of what I have used this technique for. Tip number four, you can create parking spaces using floor image panels. To save you time, I'll leave the IDs of the markings that I made in the description. And you want to place them in an alternating pattern on the floor for the best effect, as shown in the video. For example, first place ID one, then ID two, then ID one, and so on. Your final result will look a bit like this. Tip number five, use triumph arches on viaducts to add some detail. Normal viaducts look quite plain, so you can spice things up a little bit by adding these arches, and maybe even some flags on top of them like I have done here. You can also use brick fences to add a wall to the viaduct. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, a sub to the channel would be a triumph. Anyway, on with the video. Tip number six, use image panels to create custom departure boards. Again, this takes a little more effort to do, but the effect is really, really good setting your railway apart from others. Similarly to the posters, make a 1000 by 1000 square in an image editing software, and then a black rectangle that does not touch the edges of the square. Then use a dot matrix font, which you can find on a site such as Dafont, and then fill it with any info you want. Then upload it to Roblox and place it on an image panel. Tip number seven, you can use spotlights to color your roof, giving your station a much cooler look. Just place spotlights near the roof, choose a colour, and you have a pro gamer RGB roof. Tip number eight, you can create a limo by placing black cars as shown in the video. I will admit this one doesn't look the best, but if you really need a limo, here's how to make one. Tip number nine, you can use a buffer to create a spoiler for a sports car. Just place it facing rearwards inside the car as shown, change the colour to be the same as the car, and there you have it, a sportier looking car. Tip number 10, if you have a racetrack, you can place cars sideways on corners and add smoke emitters below them, making it look as if they are drifting, adding to the look of your track. And finally, a bonus tip, you can create custom road markings using image panels. Again, use a 1000 by 1000 square in an image editor and write whatever you want. For this example, I wrote parking entrance lane, but you can write whatever you like. This would work for things like writing slow on the road surface. You can also create a road surface texture with this technique if you really wanted to. Then once you're done, upload this to Roblox and put it on the floor image panel. And you're done. I hope this can help you to improve your railway. If it did, a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.